Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land House. For the past couple of weeks, I've been running the preliminary tests for an upcoming micro hydro setup here on my property. Uh, I've got this little waterfall here, which I am considering for my intake to the micro hydro. And uh, one thing I was calculating, I've got anywhere between 15 and 40 gallons per minute, um, depending on the time of year and the rain. But typically, it's going to be about 20 to 25 gallons per minute. My head pressure is uh, 64 psi, but the problem is there's a 1,000 foot distance between this intake here and where I'm going to have the micro hydro turbine. So the friction loss is going to be about 15 psi, which is not good. So a subscriber suggested, why don't I utilize this hill that is over here to run my intake water along the hill for however long I can get it, whether it's three, 400 feet, keep it level, and then drop off with my uh, pin stock. Uh, so essentially, if I reduce that 1,000 foot pin stock down to the 700 mark, I will have um, a higher um, PSI value at the bottom because of less friction loss. So in today's video, what I have got is 300 foot of garden hose. Here's the intake here. I'm going to run this along the hill and kind of find a level so that I can see how far I can go on this hill while maintaining the same height with just a little bit of drop to keep the water moving. So the thought is I could use a three or four inch corrugated pipe to um, just your drainage line. They're kind of uh, less expensive than your two inch poly pipe. Just run that along here, have a slight drop, and then it would feed my intake barrel and my pin stock would start from there. But anyway, let's go ahead and follow this garden hose along the hill some, 300 feet, and we will find a level at the end of that point. So the intake is right up here above this little waterfall. And uh, we've already got a drop of about six foot to this point here. I'm gonna see if I can get the siphon started. Got some dirt in there, of course. I can hear some air rushing by there, so we should get a siphon started at this point. Here we go. Okay, so we know that's at least level there. Let's see how high up we can go before it stops. All right, so we at least need to be up over there at this point. Let me go find the rest of my garden hose down here and we will continue along the hillside. I just hooked up the other 200 foot and there's ice in here. So the whole hose is just creaking and snaking along, waiting for the water to come out. Oh, there it goes. So there's probably a good bit of ice that's gonna be popping out of there at some point. Like that right there. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna sneak this along the hill and see, hopefully we can go right through there and keep a level with over there. Well, I'm up the hill here, about uh, 215 feet or so. Um, Cause you can see the green garden hose right in there and this little bit here. Um, and the problem is I'm gonna start cutting down this next hill pretty sharp. Um, so in order to get this done right, I'd have to skirt way around over there, make a turn, and go over to that side over there. And I don't think that's very doable because um, if I don't do that around there, it'll have a huge dip in the, uh, the supply line. And I'm afraid it would freeze up pretty bad in the winter time. So uh, here is where the water is right now. You can see it's still pretty good. So if I pick this up to find level, yeah, so it's still coming out of there. So what I'd probably do is put my barrel about right here and let the water flow into the top of it, which would be right there or so. Um, but anyway, so I think this right here, it gets us 200 feet away from the where we were going to have our original intake barrel. Um, so I would basically have my barrel right here 
and then it would just immediately shoot down there and head on to the house. Um, and you can see we are probably somewhere around, uh, oh gosh, 30, 35 feet easy above uh, the source. So I like it. Um, give me your thoughts on either a three inch or four inch corrugated pipe that would come from my intake box over there. It would just kind of sneak around here. Um, I guess it would have to sneak around over there some and come out right over here. Um, it would fill my 55 gallon barrel here. Two inch pipe from here immediately just takes on down the hill. Um, so from my calculation before, um, from back here to the place I wanted to put the turbine straight shot was 950 feet. So this would put it at um, 750-ish. Um, if I came from this spot with this 200 foot here, um, just straight shot down there. So I think um, cutting 200 feet out of the pinstock length will make a pretty significant difference in the pressure. Um, I mean, even if it was uh, out of the 15 loss that we would have um, from this full run, if it were more like, uh, I mean, even 10 loss is uh, better than 15. But anyway, let me know your thoughts and uh, we'll go from here. Oh, trying to pull this back down and it got caught on this little stump here. Silly thing. <laughs> uh, something else I forgot to mention is that um, cost. So the um, three to four inch corrugated pipe it's gonna be like $60, well the four inch is like 60 bucks for 100 foot. So the uh, two inch poly pipe that I will need 750 feet of is gonna be a dollar to a dollar 15 foot. So yeah, that hill got me. <laughs> um, anyway, so tremendous savings on this 200 foot before I go down with poly pipe. So that is another reason I wanted to uh, do that so I not only save because I am using less uh, or having less friction loss but I also save in the uh, pinstock cost okay see this leaning tree right here yep right at the base I've got another little branch leaning against a tree to kind of know where I am uh, so it's right there um, so you can kind of see where I would need to walk up to access the uh, intake there it's a pretty serious hill, uh, maybe more than 35 feet. But So probably what I'll do is continue to walk around this way like I've been going and then head up the easier slope there. Unless I want to start taking maybe over here and go around, that might be okay. I'm gonna just have to see. But okay, I'm gonna drag this hose back out of the woods for the second time. If this is your first video on this little preliminary micro hydro setup testing that I've been doing, the creek splits off. Uh, one side goes over here, and the other side is over here. I really think the creek actually goes over on that side with the flow rate you see up top. And this is a couple of springs that are right up here. Um, so what happens is, uh, it's about the same amount of water on both sides. But I'm thinking, if it truly is a spring over here, um, what will happen is I can put a ram pump in. Uh, just right up there, come down about five, six feet of head pressure, and then pump it back up the hill into my barrel. Uh, so I could potentially get another one to one and a half gallons per minute in the uh, the slow times of year uh, for summertime, uh, which would get me another uh, couple of watts whenever I'm pumping down the hill. So that's kind of my plan for how to use this water down here. That fallen tree is a fantastic reference for where I need to place my pipe. Uh, let's see, can you even see it from this distance? Let's see if you can. Right here. So right there is where it flies down here and we'll continue straight down through the woods right there. Uh, so anyway, I like that. That I'll be able to use that uh, fallen tree. And whenever I put my barrel up there, I should be able to see that as well. Um, so. I think this is going to conclude the preliminary work on the micro hydro. So the series is going to go kind of like this intake box at the waterfall, 
corrugated pipe it's going to sneak around that's probably going to be a separate video uh, the installation of the um, uh, the barrel uh, this is going to be a 55 gallon barrel probably painted either gray to match the trees or kind of a dull brown color uh, from there i will then have another video showing the pin stock installation the two inch pipe that's going to travel from that barrel all the way down to the place for the microhydro and then um, going to be stuff down there with the turbine itself and then a wire run to the house electronics into the house and uh, that should be it uh, i should be working with uh, a company uh, the Linkston's alternative power and uh, he's going to supply um, a good bit of the things required for this project so you'll definitely hear about him in multiple videos um, and i may also do a couple of in-between videos like just showcasing the uh, the turbine motor uh, the pelton wheel and um, the housing nozzles that kind of thing but anyway should be fun all right um, enough of me talking we get this hose back to the shop and we will uh, conclude our video down there. I did not winterize the ram pump this year just to see what would happen and my poly pipe pulled loose here. I didn't have any uh, hose clamps on it uh, but now it's got a direct flow of water. Right, you can see it right there coming out. Um, comes down from way up there, bypasses the pump, keeps on going and it's just flooding this little area through here. We've got some nice ice sculptures. It's been, uh, it was 16 degrees for several hours last night. Whew. It is uh, starting to pull the flume down. I will end up having to take this whole section right here out, I have a feeling. Um, so if I'm gonna be using the Archimedes turbine, uh, it's short, so I'll just put it at the end of this one, which has a decent base on it, and just let it run right down there into that area because um, all of this is just washed out and rickety as you can see but everything else is uh pretty good still as far as uh stability goes check that out it's pretty awesome so the ram pump in the that we saw in the previous video uh blew the cap this one so far is still good and it may be something to do with the way the water is bypassing the pump and flowing out this pipe still. I don't know. But uh, look how the uh, racquetballs are suspended in the tank there. That's really cool. One of my projects for the summertime is to clean this area up. I need to throw out that black plastic and cut out some of these uh, rebar posts or knock them out. Um, throw away this stuff. Uh, there's some pipes down there. Just, it was old. Uh, old ideas that did not work they were not very well thought out <laughs> uh, but it's time to clean up some of this stuff that i'm not going to be using anymore if i could pull that water from way up there man we could make some power <laughs> okay i'm back here at the shop before we go in let me warn you i'm in the middle of a couple of projects and it is it's pretty cluttered i must say uh, so i just um as you may have seen in the last video, I met up with Josh from the Stony Ridge Farm and uh, I took a bunch of plumbing parts up there and we set up a ram pump. So I need to get some of this clutter back out of the way here. Let's see, will you sit here? Uh, yeah, okay. It was fun going up to his place. Uh, it's a long, long drive from uh, here though, but uh, it was still fun. Okay, so I've got a project coming up that will be, uh, it'll last most of the summer, but I wanted to go ahead and get some stuff done for that. Um, it's gonna be starting next week, I believe. Uh, we're gonna be, I'm gonna work with several people and we're gonna be renovating a building. <laughs> it's a fun opportunity. Um, but that being said, I will probably share several of my tools. And so I want to go ahead and put my name on batteries and drills and probably like speed square and combination square. Anything I'm going to be taking up there, I want to go ahead and just put my name on it. So 
I think I'm gonna do that real quick. Somewhere around here, I've got a little Sharpie. Let's see, where are you, little Sharpie? Da, da, da. Man, if I would clean this place up, I could be so productive. Ha, huh, there's a little Sharpie. Okay. Hmm, where should I put this? Okay, I mostly just wanted to take you up the hill and see what level point I would be able to get to on that um, that side bank and looks like about 200 feet. Well worth doing, I have a feeling. Um, so instead of being 200 feet um, for more pin stock of the two inch, it would be about $120 to get um, that distance. So a savings of about 80 bucks and um, an increase in wattage at the end. But anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up, be sure to subscribe. And uh, if you're interested in the micro hydro that'll be coming out in the springtime, ring that notification bell so you can be updated uh, for when that happens. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.